Something that's important to do as a beekeeper is to protect your equipment. When you get your equipment, you generally get it untreated. It doesn't have um, any paint or coating. Now you can purchase it pre-painted and you can purchase it with a wax coat. Those are typically the two ways that you can protect the wood. You can paint the exterior or what you can do is you can coat the entire high body with a paraffin wax or a beeswax. Eventually that's what I'm planning on doing but right now I don't have one of those uh, boilers available so I'm just going to be painting these. And You usually want to go with a gloss or at least a semi-gloss coating that way you can wipe it off and the surface stays cleaner. You don't want to go with a flat paint if you're weed whacking next to the hive or something like that. All of that will stick to the paint and it'll be difficult to clean off. And when you want to repaint it, it will be harder to get that surface clean to put an additional coat of paint on there. But what you usually want to do is put two layers of paint on and you want to get an exterior high quality paint. That's not going to go bad after a short amount of time. And it's pretty straightforward. You just want to make sure you get all the surfaces evenly coated and you give it a couple coats, even three coats might be a good idea. As far as the colors go, a very traditional color for beehives is white and you see a lot of beekeepers using white and the idea behind that is it reflects uh, a lot of the sunlight. So during hot periods, if your hives are in the sun, a lot of that sunlight gets reflected. You don't, you don't want to paint your hive black. That absorbs too much sunlight, even in cold climates. White can be a good color. I think white has some drawbacks. One of the drawbacks is I think it makes it too cool in the winter. And then in the winter, a lot of people that have white hives end up wrapping them in black tar paper, that kind of thing. I used to do all of my hives white. I've kind of moved away from that. I've gone to more neutral um, tones. I've chosen a brown and a green. I think it isn't as reflective as white and it blends the hives more into the environment and white just kind of stick out a lot more and you don't necessarily want your hives sticking out if you have them in an area where it's high traffic people notice them a lot more. If you have them green, brown, kind of blend in a little more and they're not going to be as noticeable and especially if you are in an area where there could be concerns of vandalism. I'm gonna give these a layer of paint. One of the things I do between use with paint brushes and paint rollers is I just stick them in a plastic bag and I wrap it real tight and it keeps the paint rollers from drying out and that way I don't have to wash them. And they'll last like that for months. 